I am going to show you a quick potato salad, very quick and simple, based on a recipe um, that I had when I had lunch with Oprah a couple of weeks ago. And yes, I did have lunch with Oprah in Chicago. Um, I was very fortunate to be able to go over with five other South Africans as uh, part of an old mutual O magazine. Um, went over with the prize winners of uh, a, a road show that we did in May this year. And uh, we attended one of Oprah's shows and while we were having our photograph taken with her, she invited us for lunch the next day and to come to her show again. And at this lunch, there were a couple of other South Africans and we had lunch with her, which was very nicely done. We had a rocket salad with the goat's milk feta on it. It was just a pile of rocket or arugula. Um, and on top of that, I said, just cubes of goat salad. That was one of them. And of course, there was southern fried chicken, which I know apparently is one of Oprah's absolute favorites. Uh, her personal chef prepared the meals for us in a private dining room. And uh, we had a brown rice um, and greens type of hot, it's like a hot salad. And then we had a potato salad made with different color potatoes. Uh, it was made with the, the red potatoes and the sort of bluer color and the white potatoes and she'd put in diced pineapples. Now, if you're following The Natural Way, uh, and you've read my book, The Natural Way, you'd know that from a digestive point of view, it's not really compatible to eat pineapples with potatoes because the acidity in the pineapple as it's being digested tends to cancel out the enzymes that started digesting the potatoes in your saliva while you were chewing. So it's not a great combination if you want your stomach to be comfortable and you're trying to avoid indigestion and you're trying to avoid bloating and flatulence. Um, and then it just had some celery in it and a, a homemade mayonnaise. Um, now you can make a, any homemade mayonnaise. I suggest you use uh, organic eggs when you make it. Cold pressed olive oil and we can do mayonnaises on another time. In fact, I've got some lovely almonaise which you can make from my recipe books one and two. You can get the recipe books. There's a lovely mayonnaise made with almonds and you can also do the same thing with cashew nuts. Replace the almonds with the cashew nuts. Um, there are a couple of others. You can use tofu as a, as a, as a mayonnaise base. You can use, there are a variety. But what I'm going to be using today is a, our own uh, Marianne salad dressing. And this is available at stores right throughout South Africa, retail outlets from health shops to supermarkets. And if your supermarket doesn't stock it, just nag them until they do. Um, all right, so our dressing is not only made with cold pressed extra virgin olive oil, but it is also, instead of sweetening it with sugar, which is what most mayonnaise is, um, or most people when they make mayonnaise use refined sugar, you can use fructose and you want to, but I prefer using honey, and we've added to this as our, our raw honey basically, and uh, non irradiated herbs and spices, so it's completely natural, and it's thickened with vegetable, um, a vegetable based sweetener and uh, which is basically made from rice so it's gluten free as well and really what I did was instead of boiling the potatoes I just simmered them in about that much water in a large pot and uh, I've got a combination of sweet potatoes or as the Americans would say well sorry these aren't the sweet potatoes these are the potatoes I didn't watch my pot and it caught at the bottom so that's my own fault um, but it's not going to affect the flavor of the salad. And you can make this with cold potatoes or you can make it with warm potatoes depending on what the weather's like and depending on what you prefer. I, like, I quite like it at room temperature but a lot of people really like this chilled. Now instead of the pineapples I'm taking it out I'm going to add the celery of course but to give it a bit of a lift what I'm going to do is add our mayonnaise and then I'm going to add that chili pesto that we made previously. Now if you check out I think it's on DVD 1 or 2 um, we make the chili pesto from scratch. I'm not going to spend too much time. I am going to make a fresh batch for you today. And I'm going to mix that in with the mayonnaise as I toss that. So what we need to do is just literally is dice these potatoes. I like to leave the skins on. Of course, if the skins are very thick and coarse and they're a little bit burnt underneath like I caught them here, you may want to remove a little bit of the skin. But it's not too bad on the rest of them. The sweet potatoes, of course, I find a lot easier to digest than the potato itself. But they're also a lot more nutritious than potatoes. They are um, much higher in beta-carotene, which, as I've already mentioned, is a wonderful, natural, um, powerful vitamin. Not only vitamin, but also antioxidant that, antioxidant that slows down the aging process 
and also um, helps to boost your immune system. And uh, so it's a good idea to include some of these foods naturally high in these antioxidants on a daily basis. The reason that I leave the skins on is um, a lot of the nutrients that are in vegetables and fruit often just sit right underneath the skin. And uh, not only that, but the skin provides us with a wonderful source of fiber. So if you really don't like the skins, you can remove them, but I prefer them. I find it actually tastes nice. I even make mashed potatoes with the skins on and um, gives it a much better flavor. Let me layer some celery. Celery, of course, is a the darker the celery is in color, the more nutritious it is. And I like to include the leaves with celery, of course, if they're a little bit limp, or if we say in Afrikaans, for lip. Um, such a nice word, that. Um, then take the leaves off. I mean, you don't have to include the leaves, but I like them. They give it a real, a, a, a lovely, salty flavor. Celery, by the way, is one of the most alkaline foods. Like all dark green leafy vegetables, um, particularly the leaves, are one of the most alkaline forming foods in the body. So great if you are wanting to correct um, or in increase the amount of alkaline forming foods in your body. Lovely and crunchy, very high in minerals, particularly high in natural sodium. So it has a natural salty flavor. So when you add it to recipes, you find you can actually add less salt. And because it's in the right form, your body can deal with it more efficiently. It's a very refreshing ingredient I find to use um, in almost any salad or casserole that you make. And I'm layering this like this specifically because if you just throw it all in and you've got all the potatoes bunched up in one corner and the celery in another and then you start mixing it, because the potatoes are soft, particularly if it's still warm like it is now, um, it can, tends to go a bit mushy and I, I really don't like um, you know, you're going to end up with a mashed potato salad instead of uh, just a potato salad. What is nice about making it when it's warm like this, or still quite, well, certainly not room temperature, is that you find the potatoes really absorb all the flavors beautifully. And um, this uh, creamy dressing that we make, it has, contains no eggs. So for those of you that are trying to avoid egg for whatever reason, or don't like eggs, um, you know, you certainly don't have to eat them, but if you're going to eat eggs, I'm using an entire bottle on this particular dress, this particular salad. But make it when it's warm like this, it really kind of absorbs all the flavors of the dressing so beautifully. And uh, now you could just literally leave that like it is, put a little bit more chopped um, celery on top. You could just do that and that could be the end of the salad. And it's that simple. Of course your potatoes, a lot of people, are kind of poor potatoes are so badly maligned these days. Everybody says they're high in glycemic index. But when they measure the glycemic index of food, they measure you eating it and getting 50 grams of carbohydrates. You'd have to eat a huge plate full of potatoes that are just boiled with nothing on it. The minute you combine it with celery and with sweet potato and with the oil in the dressing, it slows down the absorption of the glucose and it's no longer a high glycemic index food. I don't know anybody who eats plates of just boiled or plain baked potatoes, unless of course it's a starving person. shake that we did called the cashew custard and uh, we're going to combine my favorite fruits these are all my favorite fruits um, very much sort of tropical type of salad although the strawberries aren't uh, uh, tropical at all what we've got is the mangoes and I've diced the mangoes already here and as I said they are absolutely loaded with a yellow color mangoes contain more beta carotene than any other food 
And in fact, if you're trying to protect your skin against skin cancer, one of the best ways to do it is to make sure that you're consuming lots of these bright yellow or orange colored fruit and vegetables. And mangoes in summer are awesome. Particularly if you're going to be spending time outside in the sun, which is beneficial to us. We know that sunlight helps to strengthen our bones, lowers our cholesterol levels, um, improves the immune function. All of that is beneficial. But if you know you're going to be overdoing it a little bit in the sun, and, and even if you're just spending half an hour, which is what you need every day in natural sunlight, make sure that you're eating some bright yellow vegetables or fruit on a daily basis. And that's why I love mangoes, because they're so delicious. They're unbelievably healthy. So a mango a day is kind of a policy if you want to keep you know, skin cancer at bay. That's one of the ways to do it. If you really don't like mangoes, and stick to your carrots and your carrot juice. But um, to that I'm going to be adding uh, these lychees. And just to make a look short, you know, what you know the, what these actually are, this looks like a very fleshy sort of fruit here. And that's all the natural juice that's come out of it after I peeled it. And those little brown spots are just really, I'm just going to open one up, just to show you. These are unbelievably juicy. The brown colouring is really on the inside of the flesh, closest to the um, to the pip. Absolutely exquisite fruit. Doesn't last very long the season, but at least it lasts longer than the cherry season. I had hoped to put some cherries into this, but I couldn't find any. Um, and to that, I'm going to be adding the strawberries. Look at these colours. Now you don't have to add pineapple, but I like to add some extra pineapple to this. And particularly if you are suffering from a bit of arthritis or um, inflammatory conditions, pineapple doesn't cause it. None of the acid fruit do. But what it will do is aggravate an existing condition or something that's been caused either by wear and tear in the body, um, you know, using the mouse on the, on the computer all the time, or if you have a predisposition towards arthritis, or you originally had it, it won't cause it, but it can aggravate it. And once your diet is sorted out, you may find that you're comfortably able to eat pineapple in a fruit salad like this. So what we're going to do is um, just add some diced pineapple to that. And then I'm going to make the cashew custard. Pineapples, of course, as I said, they are what we call acid fruit, which means they're acid to the taste buds. They are acidic in the mouth, but like all fruit, they actually leave an alkaline residue in your bloodstream. So don't avoid fruit because you think it's too acid for you. You need to listen to your body. If your tongue feels sore and there's acidity and you've got um, your mouth is sensitive, then cool it on the acid fruits and go more for the sweeter fruits, the bananas and the pepinos and the apples and the pears and the grapes. But if your body's telling you to eat pineapples, there's nothing wrong with eating two of them if your tongue can manage it. Listening to your body is more important than just sort of weighing and measuring and saying you have to eat. But try and eat a good variety of colours and tastes and textures. Try not to just stick with the same old apples and bananas every day. And it's wonderful to experiment with this fruit. This is a lovely fruit salad to, to serve to people during the holidays, as either a breakfast or even a lunch if it's really hot like it is today. It's an exceptionally warm day and um, something like this for lunch if you don't feel like making anything savoury. And then what we're going to do is make our cashew cream. All right, you're going to need one to two cups of cashews. They need to be raw like these cashews are, which if you look at them very closely, they are not roasted, uh, they don't have brown marks on them, they're quite white and it depends on how many people you're going to feed. So I've got about one and a half, maybe two cups of cashew nuts raw cashew nuts there and I'm going to add that and to that I'm going to add some pineapple. That's one pineapple and the juice of, um, I've got probably three oranges here. Freshly extracted orange juice. And what I need to add to that as well is a cup or two of ice. I'm just going to grab some ice. Alright, now make sure you put this ice in because it's one of the actual key ingredients, not from a nutrition perspective at all. It just makes this cashew cream really, really creamy. 
uh, it goes white and frothy and creamy and light. And if you leave it out, it still tastes nice, but this makes it taste twice as nice. So as much as you like, I find about two cups, as many as much uh, in, in volume of the cashews you put in, you put the same amount in ice. So basically, it's really full. And I'm going to switch this on. <laughs> delicious and creamy. Now you can either just let everybody spoon it over their own or pour it over their own fruit salad or you can do what I love to do and that's just to pour it over the fruit salad in the bowl. Look how creamy that is. Oh, it's too beautiful. My mouth is absolutely watering. Now I'm going to go and fetch my two grandsons who slept over here tonight last night and um, give them some breakfast. <laughs>